former coach and teacher at a school in Big Springs accused of sexually assaulting a student has had his case bound over to district court. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Joining me on our top story, a former coach and teacher at a school in Big Springs accused of sexually assaulting a student has had his case bound over to district court. 37-year-old Joel Foster was arrested in September on two counts of first-degree sexual assault of a child, two counts of child abuse, and first-degree sexual assault by a school employee. Nebraska State Patrol officials say the investigation began last month when the agency received information that an employee at South Platte Public Schools in Big Springs had inappropriate contact with the student. An arraignment date has been set for November 7th in Dual County District Court. Well, four Panhandle residents have submitted their names for a county court judgeship in our 12th Judicial District. On Friday, it was announced that Aaron Kahn of Rushville, Dawes County Attorney Vance Haug, Morrill County Attorney Travis Rodak and Scottsdale-based attorney Audrey Long have submitted applications for the job opening created by the retirement of Judge Russell Harford. A public hearing of the Judicial Nominating Commission will be held at Shadron State College on October 27th, and the commission will review all applicants for the office at that time before forwarding their recommendations to Governor Pete Ricketts for final approval. We'll have more news right after this. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Hydrozen. Unplug and recharge. What is Hydrozen? It's total body relaxation. It's total body recharge. It's floating weightless on water. Floating your aches, pains, stresses, and worries away. Hydrozen is a revolutionary new therapy using Epsom salt saturated water as a way to relax and rejuvenate your body. And it's now available in Scott's Bluff. It is for most ages and has many benefits to the mind and body. Visit hydrozenfloat.com or call us at 308-63-FLOAT. Welcome back. Authorities in Cheyenne County are warning the public about a mountain lion that was spotted in Sydney early yesterday morning. Home security system footage from a home in the 1400 block of Elm Street, as seen here, prompted an unsuccessful search from police and game and parks officials have been contacted. If anyone sees this animal, they are asked to call Sydney Police Department at 308 254 5515 and folks are re reminded to stay away from the wild animal and do not attempt to capture it or video it. Well, the Alliance Public Library will be closed to the public until further notice due to construction. During this time, patrons are welcome to call the library to request materials for checkout that can be left in the West Lobby for pickup. Patrons may also request delivery of their items through their book mobile services. Library staff says Tuesday's story time session will be held in the community room at the regular 10 a.m. time. And speculation is rampant that Governor Pete Ricketts is the most likely person to replace U.S. Senator Ben Sass, who appears ready to resign to become the president of the University of Florida. Ricketts stands to be out of a political job due to term limits at the end of the year. Should he want to serve as U.S. Senator, he could name himself to fill the term until a 2024 special election but he has said that he would leave that decision to the next governor, likely to be Republican Jim Pillen, whom Ricketts has supported to be his successor. 
Better sleep and better health can be found at Western Sleep Medicine in Gehring. Since 2006, Western Sleep Medicine has offered the lowest cost sleep testing either in their independent sleep laboratory or the privacy of your own home. You have control over your health care and your out-of-pocket cost. All insurance is accepted for a much lower cost than the regional option. If you need a sleep study, ask for Western Sleep Medicine. They've helped thousands of people over the years and want to help you. Western Sleep Medicine. Better sleep, better health. It's hunting season. Scan that QR code on the screen. Renewal by Anderson's awesome It's Hunting Season sale is on. Save big bucks, lots of dough, no bull. The hunt for perfect windows and doors is over. Renewal by Anderson is offering 20% off every window and door plus an additional 500 off the entire project if purchased during the initial consultation plus this. No money down, no interest, no payments for 12 whole months, but hurry, pull that trigger fast. This sale ends October 31st. Scan that QR code, visit rbawyoming.com and happy hunting everyone. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The fifth annual Olex Manufacturing Day was held October 5th with more than 130 students from around the area in attendance to learn more about manufacturing. Cheyenne Marcy, Olex Human Resources Director, says... We hold the Manufacturing Day event every year because it aligns with Manufacturing Month, which is October. And what we really believe is exposure to the students. We want to get the students in the door so that they can learn about a career in manufacturing, whether that be welding, uh, mechanics, assembling, um, working on CNC machines, drafting. So we have lots of different options for them. Among the many students at the event was Matt Applegate, a senior at Bayard High School. He says he attended for the welding. It would probably be like when I was little with helping my dad weld stuff together like Krell bunks or like stuff like that. Been into welding. I've uh, TIG welded and gotten second at the district competition and um, I've always done welding so it's kind of cool. Applegate says he will be looking to pursue a career in welding. Another student, Abigail Nelson, a junior at Hay Springs High School, says for her welding is creative. I worked with my dad with construction and welding and so I my mind has been sparked to work in the manufacturing industry. Um, I get my creative brain from my dad and my mom. They both grew up on farms and learned to work with their hands and it kind of was passed down to me. Marcy says Alec does offer internships for students to learn more about manufacturing. But to come back and talk to us, to work with their high school counselor and start talking about an internship or a work-study program. Because the next step is becoming an intern here at Olic Industries, an internship, and then they can go to a part-time job in the summertime and become a full-time employee by the time they're graduated. The annual Manufacturing Day had a contest on building a grain gate within 10 minutes to win. The challenge was won by the Kimball High School team, Grace Anderson, Landon Norberg, and Trey Schindler.
let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, work will soon begin on the final phase of the 18th Street Plaza in Scotts Bluff. During last week's City Council meeting, the $483,000 contract was awarded to Mark Chrisman Trucking. The final phase of the plaza will include a stage on the northeast corner, fire pits, and additional seating. Councilman Jordan Colwell asked Taylor Crispin if this type of work is something that his trucking company was familiar with. Just because I'm via nose, if you have experience with some of this stuff before, like the washing, do you? Yeah, all of it, yeah. Because, like, yeah, the question about the trucking, so do you do a lot of the demo work with concrete? And that yeah, kind of stuff? yeah. Uh, I've been in concrete fill for 16 years now, with uh, Reed for four and Sunshine Holdings for. A groundbreaking ceremony will be held next Tuesday at 11 a.m. at the 18th Street Plaza. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.